They say, owls have a super sensitive hearing. You want to know how? This is Curiosity Diary. There are about 250 species of owls in the world. They live on every continent except icy Antarctica. However, owls are versatile and live in a range of habitats including snowy, mountainous regions, deserts, open wet forests and rainforests, woodlands and grasslands. Although owls have been known to live up to 25 years, the average lifespan for most species is probably much lower. Generally, the larger species of owls live longer than the smaller species. Owls have three basic needs, somewhere safe to roost, a place to nest, and food. Therefore they feed on a diet of small to medium-sized mammals, birds, and insects. Sooty owls feed particularly on tree-dwelling mammals such as gliders, while other species prefer land-dwelling mammals or lizards. Like most birds, they're unable to chew and will mostly eat their prey whole, or if unable to, will tear off pieces. Owls in particular have some incredible ways to hunt and catch their prey. Depending on their habitat, owls hunting styles vary and they may hunt with their eyes or their ears or both. As most people know, many owls are nighttime hunters, but there is a lot of variety in this group. Some species are daytime hunters, while others prefer early morning and late evening conditions. Whatever time they go hunting, owls all use their eyes and ears. Let's look a bit closer at those amazing eyes. Their eyes are so large they take up more than half of the space in their skull. Their color also varies depending on the owl species. The large eyes provide more surface area for sensing light. Owls have tons of rods, that is those cells in our eyes that sense light. It is estimated that their night vision is anywhere from 35 to 100 times better than ours. Not only that, but owls can see great in the daytime too. Each pupil can dilate independently of the other and each has great control of how much light is let in, making them able to see in every light level. Additionally, their eyes are the most forward-facing of any bird, giving them the best depth perception, that is partially why their faces appear to be so flat. Have you ever walked around with one eye covered? You probably found yourself bumping into random objects because you could not quite tell how far away they were. That is why those forward-facing eyes and great depth perception are so important for owls. You definitely would not want to hit your wings on the trees as you are flying, and you want to be able to catch your food the first time you try. Do you remember owls' acute sense of hearing? Well, some species, such as the barn owl, hunt nocturnally by sound alone. An owl's asymmetrically placed ears are located beneath the feathers at the edge of its facial discs. This placement, along with the shape of the external ear canals, is thought to contribute to an owl's keen ability to locate sound. Some species of owls have one ear opening higher than the other. This unique adaptation allows the owl to determine what height of sound is coming from, as well as the direction. Asymmetrical ears send the sounds to the brain with two slightly different signals that allow owls to pinpoint the source. An owl has a round satellite dish-shaped face, that is specifically designed to detect sounds. This form of face on the owl has a similar effect to what happens to you when you cup your hands around your ears and aim them toward a sound in order to hear it better. Your cupped hands collect sound more efficiently than open air. However, by turning its face toward the ground, an owl gathers sounds far more efficiently than we can. An owl's beak is also built to maximize sound reception. It is pointed downward increasing the surface area over which sound waves can be collected by the facial disc and redirected to the ears. Owls are equipped with feathers that allow them to fly without making a sound. Their feathers are uniquely structured and serrated to affect the movement of air around the wings, and a velvety surface on the feathers absorbs any sound made by their flapping. Moreover, owl feathers make them real forest ninjas. They have mastered the art of disguise in three different ways. They either use color, marking or posture camouflage. For example, a snowy owl can hardly be seen in winter. Many owl species have feathered feet to protect them from cold weather. The feathers may also serve to sense contact with prey, and to protect against prey that might bite when seized. 
The actual length, thickness and color of the talons varies greatly with owl species, but all owls have razor sharp claws. When it comes to breeding, owls are known to be monogamous. The same mates may stay together for breeding purposes for several years, although variation may exist from one species to another. The sole responsibility of the female owls during breeding is to lay eggs, incubate and hatch them. Do you know anything else fascinating about owls? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget subscribe for more fascinating stories. See you in the next video.